Hi, welcome to a review um, by P. Shog. Sorry, it's been a while since the last one, but today I'm reviewing um, the Lux series by Jennifer L. Armentrich. So there's three books in this series so far, and the third one was just out, um, I think about the 18th of December, no, like the 11th of December, I think. And uh, the fourth book will be out sometime next year. And um, all the names of the books begin with O and are named after some stone. So we have Obsidian, Onyx and Opal. And I can't remember the name of the next one. Um, so this series, I'm not sure if this is a bit of a spoiler. Um, but when I went into the series, I knew it was about aliens. So yeah, something new, it's about aliens. I feel like the author is was inspired a little bit by Roswell, the TV show, which is one of my favourite TV shows ever. Because I do feel a little few elements of the plot are similar to what happened in Roswell. So our main character is Cathy. I think it's pronounced Cathy because I call her Cat sometimes. But there's no H in her name. I don't get that. Anyway, Cathy, Cathy, um, she moves to this kind of small town with her mom and her mom's a nurse so she's always working. And she has these two neighbours, these two teenage neighbours and she never sees their parents but the girl is really kind of, D, she's really kind of enthusiastic and friendly. And then she meets the brother who, you know, is this kind of hot guy but he's really kind of arrogant and rude and she just kind of hates him. They kind of hate each other at the beginning. So it has that love-hate relationship. And um, and then she gets pulled into their alien madness and she kind of has to go along with it. So in this series, I probably will end up saying lots of negatives. But um, it's the type of series where I'll complain about it, but at the end of the day, I really, really like it. And I give it four and five stars. So always remember that. Um, but it's a YA, so there were elements of that genre that, um, you know, typically kind of annoyed me. Uh, maybe I'm just getting more intolerant of those teen YA things, um, the whole high school drama. Um, so when the when the series kind of focused on that aspect, it really kind of irritated me, and I found it a bit more negative. Um, but then once the author got past that whole teen crap, um, and it, you know. It got more serious and issues got deeper and there was genuine problems not like oh love dilemmas i really enjoyed the book i thought it was excellent and um that's probably why the second book was my favorite because it had the least amount of you know stupid teenage problems and more serious issues relating to kind of like the whole alien thing and um life or death situations so i really liked when the author was doing that the whole romance of the series, sometimes it was amazing and I couldn't wait to read the, ne the, the next book to see how the couple were in it. Um, and other times you wanted to scream at the book because <laughs> it was just like the author, you know, she was worried of doing that insta love thing, you know, where couples get together straight away. So she kind of went the opposite way, where at the, end of, at the end of it you're screaming at the book like, come on, just get together, like there's no proper reason anymore for them to be pushing each other away. So, um, yeah, so the romance, it was kind of on a up and down for me, but mostly it was up. I did, I did love the couple, the couple, and, um, usually in a couple, like, it's kind of like the male person you like the most, and Damon, he is great in the series. Sometimes I did feel like it was one step forward, two ste steps back with him, because Justin, you think he's, you know, growing as a character, and, um, showing more feeling and getting past the I think I like you stage. He'll do something that makes him, you know, he'll do something like that's 180 completely going back again to, his, you know, his, um, his arrogant ways and that was just annoying, like, come on, keep the development going. Um, Kathy, the main character, I didn't really like her at times. I felt like she was one of those whiny protagonists. Um, and she was with, like, when they were a couple, she was a bit possessive and... Like if she didn't get a call from him every single night or she didn't see him every single night, she'd freak out and I'd say, oh my god, this is not attractive behaviour in, behavior in a protagonist. Um, so that was a little bit irritating. Um, but overall, I did love the, the couple in the series. The fourth book, at the end of the third book, I know a lot of people didn't like the ending. I did like the ending. I predicted it, but I liked it. Um, and I can't wait for the fourth one to see how different it's, it's going to be. I imagine it's going to be very intense and um, emotional and serious so I'm looking forward to that <laughs> which probably sounds strange um, the one thing I don't like is that 
the bad guys, they never really leave, they're constantly coming back and it's kind of like, um, the author needs to stick with a decision sometimes. I like books when they have all one point of view, so Cathy, she, you know, all the books are from her perspective and I much prefer that. But you know, a lot of books are doing now, a lot of stopping books really are doing like half, like every, alternating every chapter, main girl, main guy, main girl, main guy. And I much prefer when it's all the main girl. And then sometimes the author might put something online, or like this author does at the end of the book, a couple of scenes from um, the main guy's point of view. And I, it's, it's like a bigger treat when you get it that way, because it's kind of like, you know, it's special. It's it's not every every second chapter. It's just, you know, a treat you to get these couple of scenes from his point of view. I was kind of, I was expecting it at the end of the third book, but there wasn't any at the end of the third book. So I was kind of disappointed, but maybe eventually the author will put them online. Um, and check her website too, because she does have a few online that weren't at the end of the book. So um, that was great. One thing that really bugs me about the series, and a decision by the author, is that Kathy in this in this series, she is a, um, a blogger, or she is a reviewer of books. So when you first read, you're like, oh, she reviews books just like me. Oh, this is great. Um, and then after a while, I was like, this is painful to read. I could not stand it. Because like when Kathy's talking about, um, you know, going against the stereotype, insta love, and all this like characterization and things in books, and she's talking about actual books, other books. You know, it's the author's way of getting in things in there. Like Kathy describes how she hates insta love, but really it's the author saying, "I do too," and that's why it's not in this book. It's just I hate the way the author was communicating through Kathy's blogging, and it just really irritated me. If I read any more about Cathy reading and about how she reviews books, I'm going to scream because I just hate that aspect of the book. Am I the only one? I mean, am I overreacting? I just think it's very irritating and I don't like, I don't think it's good of the author to do. Um, but that's my review of the series. Like, besides that <laughs> blogging thing and the teenage crap, at times, it's not all the time now, believe me. It's, but except for that, it's a brilliant series. I do think it's really good. It's a, one, it's a really good YA. Um, I think maybe people younger than me would love it even more. I know my sister's friend, she's young and she absolutely loves it. So I, it's a very popular series, I do know that. And um, the author puts a lot of work into her characters and her couples, which I think is great. And um, I'm really looking forward to the next book. Okay, so now I'm going to do a bit of a spoiler review. So if you haven't read the series, I suggest you switch off now. Okay, so I kind of talked a little bit about this in the spoiler pre-review. Like, I felt like it was okay too because from the very beginning you know Kathy and Damon are going, going to be the main couple and they'll eventually get together. So I hope that didn't spoil things too much for people. But, um, I did like them as a couple. After a while I was like, come on, we we'll just get together because, you know, Kathy kept pushing him away. She was like, I don't want to be together just because we have this, um, like, bond thing. And I do like the fact that they didn't get together straight away. That well, I mean, I don't like him love either, so that was good, but... After a while, it's just kind of like delaying the obvious. And I was worried in the, in the third book they would be kind of too intensely in love. So exactly like a couple who have that insta love would be just kind of delayed a bit. Um, but they weren't too much, so I was glad. They were kind of sweet and cute together. Um, but as I said, I hated Kathy's possessiveness and she was just a bit too like, oh, you can't do anything about me. It just wasn't nice. Um, but I do think they're a great couple and at the very end it was devastating when Damon had to leave Cathy and uh, he said I love you. I thought he was going to say it much earlier but I guess it was a kind of a nice moment to say it then. And uh, yeah the next book is going to be really really kind of serious and emotional because you know she's trapped in that place now. I did predict that at least one of them was going to be left behind. Um, I thought it was going to be Cathy. A little bit of change of mind thought could be Damon you know, and he was saying leave me behind. But then I don't know, it would be Kathy I say. So the third book, as I said, there wasn't much going on plot wise. It was just the big goal of getting back into um can't remember the name of it, getting back into that place to get Bethany out. That was their big goal. The whole thing leading up to it. You like just kind of practicing for it and just holding the um onyx and getting used to that and so nothing much was happening except them planning that big plot point and a little bit of drama between Damon and Kathy. I didn't like the fact that Blake came back and it didn't make sense what his character did in the end. Like, I I don't know where that came out of. Like, the whole book he was trying to convince us and Kathy that he was good 
and um, and then in the end when he took the opal I can kind of understand him taking it because he wanted the upper hand and to get away with his friend Chris but the fact that he smiled at her about it like he should be conflicted and guilty about it going by the whole book the author setting up his character and in the end he turns out to be oh you know lying the whole time no that doesn't make sense not one bit so I don't know why the author did that so that's that that's my review on the Lux series um I hope you enjoyed it and uh, let me know your opinion on the series and thank you very much for watching.